C'est un acteur américain dont le talent lui a permis de passer aisément du cinéma de genre au blockbuster, en transitant par des films d'auteur, comme ceux de Robert Altman et Wes Anderson. Et si son élégance naturelle a fait sa marque de fabrique sur grand écran, on la retrouve dans ses disques, puisqu'il a également embrassé avec succès une carrière de jazzman. Jeff Goldblum est en aparté. Good evening, Jeff Goldblum. Oh my God. <laughs> hello. Ah, hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Great. Yes. Oh, look, this is so beautiful. I'm so happy to be here and to uh, to be talking to you. Thank you so much. Jeff Goldblum, bien sûr, on est très très heureux de vous accueillir. Est-ce que c'est la première fois que vous vivez une expérience comme celle-ci? Regardez cette immersion dans un appartement qui vous est dédié sans animateur présent. <laughs> yes, this is unique. I've never done anything like this before. I, I feel like a, a baby chick pecking its way out of its shell. This is all new to me and absolutely delightful so far. What a nice apartment. Alors, je vous en prie, si vous voulez euh, tester et vous promener un petit peu dans cet espace... Here I go. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is so delightful. I want to see everything. I mean, look, first of all, mmm, 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 mm hmm I'm seeing everything. I'm seeing everything. Un uh, pound, uh, Jeff Goldblum. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, here's a little, I'll be careful of that. Here's some, some books. Look at this. Mmm. If you know, <laughs> <rire> Beaucoup de portraits de vous, bien sûr. Y en a-t-il autant chez vous Oh, you know, <rire> um, I wish I could say no, but uh, uh, you know, I'm probably a, a, a narcissist of some kind, and I do have some photos of me. But uh, but uh, I have in my uh, in my real house, I have um, paintings. My sister Pam did a lot of paintings, and I have those up. I'm kind of an art lover, especially of her work, and I've got from, believe it or not, I've got some paintings of me. Well, she's done some paintings of me, and from movies that I've done, uh, I have some things. For instance, I did this Wes Anderson movie called The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, and for the set, my character ha had made a, a big portrait of himself, and Wes sent it to me afterwards, so I've got th that kind of embarrassingly, but it's a lovely thing. Uh, sitting someplace. So yeah, I have some some uh, pictures of myself. This is our new record. You know, can I? Um, uh, you're et Wes Anderson, vous connaissez parfaitement son univers, bien sûr. Vous tournez de nouveau ensemble. Uh, oui, ce disque, bien sûr, Jeff Goldblum. Well, I love uh, Wes Anderson. I've done four movies now of his, and the next one is coming out soon. Asteroid City. I see. Uh, I've just seen the. Everybody's seen the poster recently, and the uh, and the um, uh, trailer. But how about this? This is our. This is our new record uh, uh, of which I'm proud and uh, it's called Plays Well with Others, Jeff Goldblum and the Mildred Snitzer Orchestra, that's the name of our band. I'm, I'm sort of passionate about it right now and I like all these songs that we did. A Baptist Beat on Side A by Hank Mobley, Don't Fence Me In. Kelly Clarkson sings that song with us. How about that? She's fantastic. Uh, Moon River, the wonderful song Moon River that you remember from what movie? Do you know what movie that was sung in? Natalie? Mais bien sûr, Audrey Hepburn, n'est-ce pas Jeff Goldblum, Breakfast at Tiffany's, right Bien sûr. <laughs> vous voulez bien qu'on entende déjà quelques notes, si vous voulez, de Plays Well with Others. J'aimerais bien qu'on découvre ces sonorités. On écoute Moon River tout de suite. Sure, Natalie, yes. I'd love to... Oh, Moon River would be nice to hear. There, there it is. Of course, Henry Mancini and... Johnny Mercer, that's Mathilde Brown, wonderful singer, singing that with us. Mm. And there are other good songs there. As well. oh, dream maker, you heart breaker, wherever you're gone. Nice. Moon River. 
Uh, incroyable morceau et incroyable travail que vous avez fait avec votre jazz band, bien sûr. Uh, cette musique qui nous accompagne, Jeff Goldblum, parce que vous nous accompagnez depuis des années, bien sûr, dans une centaine de films, des séries. Vous avez votre étoile sur le Hollywood Walk of Fame. On va parler cinéma, mais c'est vrai que la musique aujourd'hui vous habite, mais depuis toujours, remarqué. Vous avez joué au Trianon le 2 avril. Comment Jeff Goldblum vous avez sélectionné pour ce troisième album accompagné du Mildred Snyder Orchestra Comment vous avez sélectionné finalement ces grands standards de jazz That's a good question. Um, well, you know, each one, this Hank Mobley song, uh, I play with great uh, musicians, and some of them knew better than I did the uh, history of these songs, and they, they played these songs. So, uh, Moon River, well, I have liked that movie, and I like that song. Ah, my, my first piano teacher, Tommy Emmel, gave me that song to play early on. So it was one of the things I worked on when I was a kid, so I have an affection for that song. Uh, well, in the wee small hours of the morning, well, I love Frank Sinatra, and he does a, a lot of people do a great version of that, and I love the lyrics to that song. And then we mash it up. We do a, a sort of a bossa nova on that and mash it up with uh, a Jobim song, Waters of March. And so we do a nice mashup of that, which I've always loved. Love that song, love a lot of Jobim's, all of Jobim's song. Hey, I love this apartment, I love this conversation pit. Look, snacks have been lifted. Oh, there's the sofa, I'm gonna go there. There are some macarons, and oh, look at this, hey, may I? May I pour Mais je vous en prie, some... bien sûr. Alors, restons là, faisons tea. escale ici, uh, Jeff yeah. Goldblum, en effet. Uh, si vous voulez vous asseoir, uh, okay. la chaise de bar est yeah. à votre disposition. Des macarons, je crois que c'est votre péché mignon. Un sandwich yeah. également. Le pain français, il a quelque chose de particulier, c'est ça French bread, the baguette, so specific, and I'm crazy about it. My wife, you know, Emily, is French. Her mom is from Nantes. Uh, w that I've visited. I, I love France. I love uh, uh, Paris. I've made movies here. Um, I've been here uh, a bunch, but I'm always thrilled to be back here. And uh, she speaks French to our kids. We've got two little boys, uh, Charlie and River, speaking of Moon River, uh, who've been going to Lycée Française in Los Angeles, and, uh, and they have sister schools all over the world. So we've been spending some time in Europe, as a matter of fact, and they've been going there, and they're already, believe it or not, bilingual, I think we can say. Et vous leur répondez en anglais exclusivement Well, I speak English mostly because my French is en petit peu, you know. Um, but I'm learning, I'm doing okay. Dites-moi par exemple si aujourd'hui ou demain vous irez leur acheter, je crois, peut-être un maillot d'un joueur de foot français. N'ont-ils pas un petit faible pour Mbappé ou garçon How did you know that That's exactly right. They are crazy now about because I think uh, um, Emily read them a book recently about Mbappé. They're crazy about. They've been playing. They're very. They're athletic. My, their mom, Emily, is uh, was in the Olympics. She's a world-class athlete still. She was in the Olympics for rhythmic gymnastics. She was the Pan American champion. And now she, uh, after that, she uh, learned Cirque du Soleil kind of aerial things. So, so she's very athletic. And so are they, I'll be darned. And they're, they're pretty good soccer players already, or football players. And they like uh, Messi and Mbappé especially. And they want to, the river has a birthday coming up. And I think we're going to get him a, uh, trying to get him an Mbappé uh, jersey that I think he's going to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, cheers. I wonder what this is. This looks like it might be alcoholic. Let me Maybe. see. Maybe. Vous allez reconnaître. Un Virgin Bloody Mary, peut-être. You know, peut hey, you know a lot about me. I don't know how you found out, but yes, my drink of choice is I'm Mais not si such a boozer. Le plus sain um, au monde, I do like a, a Virgin... It's the healthiest cocktail in the world. I like it. This is uh, <laughs> eh oui. this is nice. I wouldn't mind it a little a little um spicier. So oui, you know. Bien sûr, 
à votre guise. Euh, on parle de jazz, bien sûr, mais une autre actualité que j'aimerais évoquer avec vous, Jeff Goldblum, un film d'animation auquel vous avez prêté votre voix si singulière. Euh, il s'intitule « Des shots de Pioneer Player ». Il sort en septembre. Euh, vous voulez bien qu'on regarde un petit extrait I would like, Natalie, you are so smart and sweet to bring that up. Um, I didn't know there was an excerpt... Um, Available. I have not seen any of it. I did with my friend Fernando Trueba, uh, the voice for that movie. He did, you know, Chico and Rita before that. It's a beautifully animated thing with uh, jazz music in it. This is going to feature a lot of Brazilian music. Can we? Yes, I'd love to see it. Yes, please. Ali. This is fantastic. One day, a piano solo on a recording from the 60s caught my attention. I checked out the liner notes, and I came across a name which until that moment had been unknown to me, Tenario Jr. Et c'est wow. un film d'animation, hein. euh, bien sûr, Jeff Goldblum. Je, je dis un mot, si vous me permettez. Euh, ce film est inspiré d'une histoire vraie, hein, celle de la disparition mystérieuse d'un pianiste, un compositeur brésilien virtuose disparu en 1976. Il s'appelait Francisco yes. Tenorio Junior. Euh, quelques mots quand même sur cette histoire et cette adaptation. Je ne savais pas de cette histoire. Tenorio Junior... Yes, it's a real story about the tragic events of a disappearance of this brilliant pianist uh, doing this music that was landmark and pioneering, bossa nova and, and some music that I adore personally. And um, this is the very first I've seen of that. I like that very much. That's my character as pictured, and I'm talking about my... My character is a... a um, a uh, writer, this part we kind of made up, I think, that, that, and I'm investigating, uh, uh, you know, his story and this music. I come upon this music, and I re then I start to get obsessed by it, and I, uh, and I go to Brazil, to Rio, and to the places where he played, and, and I talk to the musicians with whom he played, and, and we played some of that music, and, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see more of it. I, I want to see the whole thing. That's the first I've seen of any of it. Thank you so much. Wow. Nous aussi, on a hâte, bien sûr, et on va ensemble dérouler et revenir sur votre carrière cinématographique, bien sûr, Jeff Goldblum. Pour cela, je vais vous emmener à Pittsburgh. Regardez, je claque des doigts et la magie opère. Et oui, Pittsburgh, bien sûr, Pennsylvanie, votre ville natale au nord-est des États-Unis. Je crois que vous y êtes resté très attaché, mais est-ce que vous pourriez me livrer un petit secret, Jeff Goldblum Je crois savoir qu'aux alentours de 14 ans, vous appeliez les bars pour jouer là-bas, vous proposiez vos services en arrangeant quelque peu la vérité. Oui, je peux avoir dit que mon âge était quelque chose de différent ou pas. Je pense qu'ils n'étaient pas très heureux de me faire venir. C'était seulement un couple de gigs. Mes parents me conduisaient à ce moment-là, je me rappelle. Et je pense que j'ai rencontré une femme de chanteur aussi. Et puis ils me conduisaient à ce gig. Vous pouvez imaginer, j'étais 14, 15. Et c'est tellement surprenant. Quel beau appartement que c'est. Et... Et... Little uh, rendering you've got of Pittsburgh. That's the skyline of Pittsburgh. Yes, uh, I do have an attachment to it. Uh, of course, it's the place I grew up from, from uh, birth to 17. So places like that for a lot of us uh, stay in our dream life, you know, and... I have a hankering to go back there and I have here and there. Euh, je vais um, vous inviter au fauteuil gris, uh, Jeff Goldblum, très confortable. Okay. Vous pouvez emporter votre thé, hein, si vous le souhaitez. Um, oh, really? Thank oh. you. I'm going to pour a little more then, in that case. And... Thank Et un autre you. petit secret, j'ai cru go. comprendre qu'adolescent, vous, avec la buée de la douche, vous aviez ce rêve écrit sur la, sur la porte de la douche, la porte vitrée. Euh, ce rêve implorant Dieu de vous laisser devenir acteur, c'est vrai ça, Jeff Goldblum. That's exactly true. Yeah, it was a uh, secret. I was a little embarrassed, or you know, I didn't know what it took to be an actor. You know, my dad was a doctor, and nobody I knew was an actor. But I was obsessed with it around that time, between ninth and tenth, tenth and eleventh grades. I'd already gone to a a camp. A, uh, not a camp, a, a kind of a school. Carnegie Mellon University had six-week summer sessions, and I really fell deeply in love with life and uh, the idea of being an actor. And yes, I would write. I'd take a shower before school in the morning. We had a little glass door onto which I'd write, please, God, let me be an actor. I was very, you know, uh, obsessed with it. And then, but then I'd wipe it off before I left. 
uh, so nobody would guess my secret. But then I had to, you know, come clean on it at some point because my parents supported me uh, in the idea of going after high school to New York City and studying at the Neighborhood Playhouse with Sanford Meisner, if some of your listeners and watchers know him. Alors, euh, on connaît et on va voir euh, vos premiers pas euh, au cinéma, bien sûr, sur grand écran. Jeff Goldblum, vous avez une télécommande à droite sur la petite tablette. Vous allez pouvoir appuyer fantastic. sur le bouton principal, le gros bouton. Et la séance commence. Oh my God. Who is it? Oh, wow. C'est bien I don't know, I called here as a friend, oh, you know. Jack. Do you, do you uh, report certain things when you run into them, like uh, contagious disease or a dead body in a place of business? Jack, would you let him look at you it? Found body? No, not necessarily, we didn't. Nobody I said. thought it was Jack. Is that him? Yeah, that is. What kind of joke is this? It's no joke. Whoa. <laughs> That, that's trippy. That's fantastic. You know, that was the great uh, Donald Sutherland and Veronica Cartwright playing my wife, Nancy Belichick. That's a movie, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, directed by wonderful director Philip Kaufman. Uh, wonderful. 1978. 1978. Can you imagine? How about that? Yeah, how about that? Jeff Goldblum, ce film, hein, il marque vraiment la naissance de votre idylle avec la science-fiction. Bien sûr, avant, il y a eu du Robert Atman dans Les Flambeurs, un justicier dans la ville, au côté de Charles Bronson. Mais là, euh, le, le premier contact au père, vraiment, avec la science-fiction, euh, est né le Goldblumisme. Cette façon très significative de, de parler, hein? Yeah, yes, yes. I remember the day, that's Leonard Nimoy there over my shoulder, I remember the day that Philip Kaufman... Um, was directing me, and I had a little scene with Veronica Cartwright, whom we just saw, and she said, why, why did we think that they were going to come in metal ships, the aliens? And I say, Nancy, I, I've never, I never thought that they were going to come in metal ships, you know, something like that. And the way I delivered it, which was a little bit in my you know, voice that I started to find, uh, at least for this character, you know. Um, Philip Kaufman said, okay, that was good, and enjoyed it in such a way, appreciated it in such a way as I remember, that I kind of registered, as I remember to myself, hmm, I, that's different. I, I didn't, I wasn't working so hard with that. That was kind of within me, and it came out of me, and that may be something I can, as Sandy Meisner encouraged us to do, um, find that was uh, uh, unique in some way, that I could build upon. Anyway, yes, that's right. Et c'est devenu très significatif, évidemment. Faites-le comme Jeff Goldblum. Tout le monde sait ça d'aujourd'hui à travers le monde. Est-ce que vous voulez bien découvrir une autre image, Jeff, avec nous Yes, yes, this is a great, this is a fun, fun <laughs> experience for me. Thank you very much. Sure, anything you want to show me, should I push the button? Alors c'est vous, c'est vous qui uh, agissez, oui. I needed someone who would, could be many things. He had to be funny, he had to be uh, articulate, intelligent, he had to be convincing as a scientist. Uh, but he also had to be romantic and passionate and then terrifying. And that's a, a lot to ask. You need a very, very good actor for that. And one who is very physical, too, who can do a lot of physical things, um, as well as intellectual things. So it's, there are not too many actors, really, who can do all of those things. De toute manière, vous lui avez apporté un des plus beaux rôles de sa carrière. Je crois qu'il est absolument think, extraordinaire. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff himself says it's absolutely the best role he's ever had. Sometimes people say to him, why would you do a horror film? And he says, but it's the best role I've ever had. 1986, La Mouche, bien sûr, de David Cronenberg. Ce film, ce film qui va vous faire connaître partout dans le monde. Des images peut-être euh, que vous redécouvrez, que vous découvrez même. Images that I just saw, yes, I've never seen that Um, interview with David Cronenberg. He's wonderful, isn't he? He was very generous and sweet uh, 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 about me in that interview. Um, he's fantastic. Look what a nice looking fellow he is. He's Canadian. We did that. That's us in Toronto, where he's from, where, by the way, my wife is from, Emily. And there it is, Lamouche. That's the French word for the fly. Look at this Brooks Films. It was Mel Brooks. 
Uh, his company that produced that, believe it or not, and of course there's Gina Davis, um, who is wonderful in the movie and is a wonderful person, a wonderful actor. Uh, how about that? You know, you're the fly, yes, I was proud of that, and it was mm, the horror, or whatever you call it, a, uh, a juicy and a, a, a terrific uh, part, and I was lucky to, to uh, be able to do that. I loved our experience doing that. Et c'est là que vous appuyez de nouveau sur le bouton. I'm pushing the button. Ah, here comes something. Way out. Thanks, everybody. Look at you. And look at me. And look at you. Wow, this is so trippy. You look like you're doing well. Well, I got five kids, you know, whom I adore more than life itself, so uh, expenses add up. You, Alan, are you, are you, uh, you have any family or? No. So. Uh, I need to talk to you. Yeah, I need to talk to you, too, privately. Do you two talk a lot? Uh, he slid into my DMs. He did what? It's urgent, Ian. <laughs> what did you do? Seven minutes to midnight stuff. Uh, the doomsday clock might be about out of time, but as they say, it's always darkest just before eternal nothingness. What? <rire> et Jurassic World, bien sûr, euh, qu'on peut voir sur My Canal, euh, le docteur Ian Malcolm, personnage emblématique de Jurassic Park. Depuis, depuis 30 ans, Jeff Goldblum, hein, 1993. I that. Eh oui, cette voix, ce look, cette drôlerie, cette intelligence, ces, ces répliques qui fusent aussi, c'est le, le rôle qui vous accompagne, le rôle dont tout le monde vous parle. Thank you, Natalie. Um, yeah, well, you know, I was lucky to be in a, a movie that um, was uh, based on uh, uh, Michael Crichton's terrific book that had caught on already, and uh, then Steven Spielberg. Uh, you know, what a, as everyone knows, genius filmmaker he is. And of course, they uh, developed for that movie in 93. There it is. There's a picture of uh, Richard Attenborough and, of course, Laura Dern and Sam Neill. Uh, they developed the, the technology, the CGI, to bring those dinosaurs to life. So all of that made it unexpectedly um, something that uh, struck people, and it uh, spawned these, re these uh, sequels, of which I was a part, a few of them, and most recently, Jurassic World Dominion, that you saw that scene from uh, uh, so yeah I have affection I've had nothing but a good time with those movies there we are again uh, <laughs> the great Richard Attenborough euh, dites-moi Jeff Goldblum pour ce personnage euh, qui est devenu culte hein, je crois que vous, vous avez comme ça travaillé euh, avec soin de nouvelles punchlines euh, souvent décalées ces punchlines au fil des tournages euh, écrites à la main Well, I don't want to take too much uh, credit for it, and I don't deserve much credit for it, but in a movie like this, uh, um, you're allowed to and encouraged to make it your own and tweak it a little bit and uh, elaborate on it and par do some paraphrasing. Uh, and this was one of those uh, times Steven Spielberg encouraged it and uh, Colin Trevorrow on this last movie encouraged it, and so... I would, with Emily Carmichael, too, sometimes at the 11th hour, get out my sides, as they're called, the script, and uh, be getting um, 10 more ideas or a few more ideas about what I could. You know, you never want to uh, leave leave the scene in a movie. It's uh, it's um, it's opening night and closing night, all in a few hours, and you want to make sure that uh, you don't leave anything unexplored. So, you know, I had a few more ideas, uh, many of which were bad, uh, and Colin would, uh, would uh, tastefully eliminate those, but a couple of those that wind up in the movie. So yeah, I would, I would uh, tweak a couple of those lines, and in fact, the scene that you just saw before, where I say, Um, as they always say, you know, it's always darkest just before eternal nothingness. Uh, <laughs> I think I, I think I had a hand in inventing, whether you like it or not, for, uh, uh, you, you know, just before we did it. And I think they stuck with that in the movie. Yeah, so I, I had a good time doing that. Et elles yes. sont devenues cultes. Uh, Jeff Goldblum, le temps passe vite à vos côtés, um, bien sûr. On a envie de vous entendre au piano, un peu de jazz, pour accompagner aussi cet album Plays Well With the Others, votre troisième album. Est-ce que vous voulez bien faire, nous faire ce plaisir Yes, I will. Watch this. I'm heading over. Thank you so much. I love this conversation pit and this little entertainment pit. What a lovely, lovely apartment. 
I <laughs> have Evelyn, that you've made you. for me. Wow. Oh, Prisoner of Second Avenue, I did that on the West End. There's me and Ben Vereen, 10 speed and brown shoe. Uh, I do love Marcel Marceau. I saw him live. You know, I love mime. The Mountain, I like that movie. Oh, Nashville. Uh, um, Robert Altman, a very, very good movie. Well, Wicked, you know, I just, uh, I just uh, finished something. Very, very good. I love this whole apartment. Well, this is one of my favorite, I think this is my favorite Hitchcock movie, Vertigo. Very, very good. Well, I love P.T. Anderson. I love The Master. Very, very good. Apocalypse Now, Dune I was really into. James Bond, I love. Quentin Tarantino, French Connection. Love, love, love. The Graduate. Wow, what a great Mike Nichols movie that is. Mm, Peter Sellers, yes, yes, yes. Errol Garner, oh my golly. You know, this is a, 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 a piano player, a great piano player, as many people know, from Pittsburgh, where I'm from. There it is. And um, boy, there he is. Okay, so, and I love Stevie Wonder. Boy, Stevie Wonder came in and... Um, and uh, visited us at the Capitol Records building when we did our first album. Uh, so I've had a chance to meet my hero, one of my heroes. Uh Merci de nous avoir fait ce cadeau. Nous aussi, on a un cadeau pour vous. Est-ce que vous voulez découvrir ce cadeau Dans le. Yes, I'll discover the gift. This whole thing is a gift to me. This whole experience and and everything is a gift so far. But there's something else that specifically. Where is this gift Il est dans l'angle du canapé. Near the what? The couch. Okay. Near the near the couch. Okay. Deux cadeaux très exactement. Un Amen. petit peu plus loin, yeah, yeah. encore, en face de vous. Voilà, vous pouvez les ouvrir, bien sûr. Oui. Really? Oh my god. Vraiment, c'est pour vous, rien que pour vous. Thank you so, so much. Oh, I, they, I think they're books. I think they're books. They're kind of heavy. Wow. Let's see. Well, first of all, I'm going to open this one. Thank you so much. This is so kind, generous, and I don't know what I've done to deserve this, but it's a very, very special experience. I'll never forget it as long as I live. This is a book. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, this is fantastic. As I already pointed out, because uh, I, I, my eye fell upon that picture. This is eh a oui, thing. I don't Marceau. have this. I've never seen this. This is, looks like a wonderful vie. book about Marcel Marceau, of course. Eh oui. This will be fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. Marcel Marceau said... Uh, Le poète toujours on est... You know, I can't, I'm, I can't read it as, as well as I should. So, thank you so much. That's a fantastic Avec gift. Plaisir. Fantastic. L'autre livre parle aussi de votre, de votre actualité, Jeff Goldblum, et de votre passion. Really? This seems even heavier and bigger. Wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't have this book either. This is Le Jazz, Life. Livre, Jazz Life. Jazz Life. Une sorte de Bible de William Claxton. Oh, look at those photographs. Look at Duke Ellington. Look at Duke Ellington <coughs> having a rehearsal with his band. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, on aimerait beaucoup avoir uh, une photo de vous dans cet appartement. Where do you want me to go and take a picture in this apartment? L'appareil la, photo se trouve dans la deuxième étagère, à gauche, vers le bar. Vous pouvez laisser l'appareil sur l'étagère. Vous allez simplement l'allumer en appuyant sur le petit autocollant orange. Ensuite, vous prenez la télécommande en main. Push the Elle est juste devant. Wait a minute. Okay, here's, voilà. here's the remote control. Yes, ma'am? Okay. It's very clear. 
Merci beaucoup, Jeff Goldblum. Merci infiniment. Thank you, Ça, thank c'est notre you. petit souvenir. Thank you so much. C'est oh, collecteur, bien uh, sûr. These will come out, I guess. Merci, Jeff Goldblum. Merci infiniment d'être venu nous voir, d'avoir partagé cette expérience avec nous. N'oubliez pas vos livres, bien sûr. I can't thank you enough. Merci infiniment pour votre visite. Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. Je vais venir vous accueillir en haut des marches. What a great adventure. Or wow. Merci infiniment, Jeff Goldblum. Plays well with others. C'est votre troisième album qu'on écoute en boucle. Un ravissement de vous avoir euh, interrogé ici. Merci. Thank you so much. I, I was very happy to be here. Thank you. Natalie? Oh, Natalie? Natalie? Hello, bonjour. Hello, oh. au revoir, au revoir. That was fun. So much fun. Amazing. What a trippy house of thrills and delight. Mm -hmm.